In my last video, I went through how to build a simple neural network in uh, PyTorch. And we went through how all of the imports work. We went through how to load the data, the hyperparameters, um, the loss function, and training the network. And lastly, also checking the accuracy of the model on the training and the test data. What we want to do now is instead of using a simple fully connected neural network, we want to modify the code and create so that we use a convolutional neural network instead. So convolutional neural networks works a lot better on images uh, than in fully connected. So I believe we're going to get better performance on the MNIST data set. So let's see what we get. But first we have to create the network. So let's make a class CNN inherit the nn dot module then in our init function we're gonna uh, take as input the number of in channels of the image so in MNIST this is gonna be one uh, if you use something like cipher 10 data set or something that has color then there's probably gonna be in channels equal to three because of RGB but in our case we're just gonna be uh, it's just gonna be one and then the number of classes, uh, which is going to be 10. Yeah, I guess we could do like this as well. Set it to a standard of 10. And then we need to call the super. Right. Okay. So what we want to do now is we want to create a convolutional layer. So we can do self.con1 equals nn.conv2d. And then here, yeah, we can see it here. We have his argument in channels, out channels, uh, the kernel size, stride, padding. I'm not going to go into depth on how those work or how convolutions work, just the implementation of it. Uh, in the comment, I'll uh, link you some resources if you want to learn more about how they actually work. So the in channels that we're going to have is, as I said, uh, one. And then we're going to choose some arbitrary out channels, let's say uh, four or eight. Then what we're going to use uh, kernel size is we're going to use a three by three. Stride, we're going to use a one by one. Padding, we're going to use a one by one. These might be standard. I'm not really sure how Python sets them. These might be default, so you don't have to actually write them explicitly. Um, but it's good to do just to know which arguments to that we can send. So what we're going to use is a kernel three by three. This, again, this is quite an arbitrary choice. Uh, there's a reason why I chose a three by three kernel along with these padding and strides. Uh, this is called a um, a same. I think it's called a same convolution. Yeah, same convolution it means that the Normally, the output size will change depending on what we use for kernel stride and padding. Uh, using these specific ones, it's actually going to turn out that we keep the same dimensions. So when we send in the input, it's going to be 28 by 28. Uh, if we do with these values, we're going to still have 28 by 28 output. Yeah, so I just wanted to show you uh, using the formula. I'm not going to derive the formula, but just show you that if we use that uh, that kernel size and the padding and that stride, then we get a same conv uh, like a same convolution, meaning the the n in equals the n out. So n in is the number of input features. Uh, we have 28 using the uh, MNIST data set. The padding we chose was one, so two times one minus three divided by the stride, take a floor of that, and then we plus one. So essentially this is going to, going, going to be uh, 27, right? This is going to be 27 plus one, which is 28, right? So this is the N out right here. And the N in was also 28. All right, what we want to do next is to use a pooling layer, max pool to the which, um, yeah, so we're going to use 2x2 two two and stride 2x2. Two two. And again, using the same formula that we use for this one, uh, we're, it's going to turn out to half the dimension size. Uh, 
So let's say that we have 28 by 28. We use a max pool. It's going to make it to 14 by 14. Then let's just do this again. Ceph.com2. And then lastly, we're going to have a fully connected layer. Uh, yeah, let's see. So what we need to do here is that we had the out channels from this to eight. So the in channels from this uh, needs to be eight. And let's set some out channels to maybe 16. Then what we need to do is 16 here times. So what we've done here is that, uh, well, we ha haven't actually implemented the forward yet, but I'm thinking we're going to use two uh, max pooling layers. Um, so we're going to have the input two times. So 28 becomes 14 and then half again becomes seven. So that's going to be uh, the in of the nn.linear. And then here we're going to just make the number of classes. So define forward. Yeah, so x is f.relu, self.com1 of x. And then x is uh, self.pool of x. And then again, we're going to use this. Just conv2. And again, self.pool of x. And we can uh, reuse the same pooling. And then we're going to reshape x because we need it to... Remember, this doesn't actually... It's, it's still a three-dimensional tensor, or I guess a four-dimensional tensor if you include the mini-batches. We want to reshape it, so uh, we keep the mini-batch, the number of examples that we send in, and then just minus one. And yeah, and then we run the self.fc1 of x and return x. Right, so this is our... Uh, CNN. What we can do, uh, as we did before, let's see, we can do x model is CNN of, yeah, just CNN. X is uh, torch.random.rend. Uh, 4 by 1, 28, 28. Yeah, okay. Mm. Yeah, so we need a comma here and a comma here. Yeah. Mm. Uh, dot rend, I think. Yeah. Okay, great. So then we call the model. So print model of x dot shape. Yeah. So same kind of basic check that we did in the last video. We do the same here for the convolutional just to make sure that, okay, we've implemented it. Uh, at least it passes the basic uh, check. So after that, we can reuse a lot of this the code that we did before, except the input size now. Uh, we use, I guess, in channels instead. And let's see. Yeah, we're going to call CNN instead. We actually don't have to call anything um, since we, we set them default here. So we can just, we can just do it like this. And then remember that it's already in the correct shape, so we don't uh, we don't want to flatten it like we do here. That's actually what we do in this part of the network. So we can just remove this part. The rest uh, stays exactly the same. We still want to do the forward, the backward, uh, the green descent step. Yeah, and then similarly here, remove the reshape part. And I think that should be it. We I'll train the network for five epochs and I'll come back to you when we get the result. All right, so we got the result and on the training data, this got 98.58% and on the test data, 98.36. Not great or terrible. Good. So yeah, this uh, is how you code a simple CNN. 
um, if you have any questions, um, uh, write them in the comment. And uh, thank you so much for watching the video.